And you're watching the Just Kidding Round Show. Thank you so much for joining us. I am re-welcoming an old friend. Hi, Lynn. Hello. And you've been doing shows here at TCTV for many years, haven't you? It's been a while, hasn't it? A long time. And Lynn is the owner of the Treehouse Art Center. Thank you. Yeah, so, and before we get started, would you like to say hello to anybody? Sure, I'd like to say hello to my mother. My mom, my sweet, wonderful mom, and my friend Cherie, Aww. and my other friend Janet, and all the kids at the treehouse. Oh, wow. And I'm going to say hi to all the kids at South Bay and Lydia Hawk. Is your mom artistic, too? No. <laughs> I never thought to ask you that. <laughs> no, but, uh, she's not. So did you come by your talent naturally, or are you self-taught? I'm self-taught. Pretty, self pretty much self-taught, yeah. Okay. All right. And what are we going to be doing today? Well, I think that uh, it's really important that our conscious be on the ocean right now since the ocean is in peril. And so mm -hmm. I, I am an ocean painter, and I wanted to represent what the ocean can and should be. And uh, so we're going to paint a, a picture. It was a picture I took in, um, I think it was Oahu, and I painted it, and then I kind of transformed it because it's sort of a, a flowing experience when you paint the ocean. It's just this beautiful, fluid movement. So we're going to be painting this one, uh, and um, it will look a bit like the one that's behind us on this podium up here. This is The one on the podium behind us is an impressionistic painting that I did as a tribute to my mother. Is that the one we opened on? No, it's not. It's right behind oh, you. Oh, this one here? No, right behind you. You can't see oh. it. And um, there you can see it. It's uh -oh. on, the, on the television. Oh, it's on the screen. Oh, so that's anyway, lovely. That was, that's an impressionistic painting. You can't really duplicate an impressionistic painting, but you can duplicate a photograph. So I had, the one we're going to work on is, is on the table here. But it's very similar to that. Uh, so as we work on this, I'd like the camera people to uh, view the different types of oceans and the way that we see the ocean. And um, I'll try and talk a little bit about it while we paint, because we have to paint if we're going to do it. So what you're going to do, Diane, is I gave you a funny pencil. That you're going to draw a horizon line like this, and then a little mound of kind of a, it's kind of a land formation out at sea. Well, that's beautiful. Did you paint that? That was actually there in Oahu outside of Oahu. What do you mean that was there? That exists in the I thought real... you painted it. I painted it, but I took the picture and then I painted it. Oh, you painted it, but you took the picture. You know, we've got to make sure our cameras can see what we're doing. So can we uh, either draw it darker and sure, I can let... Draw. you got a cameraman right there. Okay. So what it is, it, it isn't Chinaman's hat, which every, most people know what Chinaman's hat is. It's just a, a little mountain and a little piece of land that comes out into the ocean. And then over on the shore, this is a rocky shore, and you can draw your rocks any, any way you wish, but it kind of looks craggy like this, like that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Now this, over here at the bottom, is just the shore. Now That's the shore. That's it. You're the teacher. You might want to show the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can they see that? Can you guys so we did a horizon line, then we did um, sort of this little hat shape. Turn it this way? Okay. And then after the hat shape, we did this shape. This is a rock, and over here is just the land. The, is the sandy, rocky beach. Okay, I hope they can see that. It's not showing so real well. So what, what I teach is um, 
I'm going to give you, I'm going to have you start with this brush right here. Okay. And I'm going to just start with one I happen to have. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a base color for the sky, a base color for the water, and the rocks are going to start out as black. Okay. And, and, the, and the little land formations will be black and you mix brown and whites with them. And the idea is to show light and shadow on the rocks. And the more light and shadows that you show, the more... Um, they become more realistic. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to start, I'm just going to start with blue. And, and what do you mean by base color? A base color is, is a color that sits on the bottom. So in on this particular scene, it's blue-black. Should I do the same? You, you, didn't, you should, did not, how come you didn't put water on it? Well, because we'll put water on in the, la, at la, in the last part of the And painting. would you call this water color then? I call it watercolor tempera. When I use tempera with water, it's watercolor tempera. Watercolor tempera, okay. And we're doing our base color. Where this is a base color, and you manipulate through the base color with lighter colors on top, and you, and you inter incorporate your strokes into it to get the darks and the lights. So anyway, the other day I was inspired and I thought, I haven't done a painting for a long time, so I did an abstract painting and I didn't really know what to do with it, but the oil spill has been so much on my mind, oh. I, I thought, what should I do with this, this picture that looks so much like under the sea? So what I did was I incorporated a face and the face is, I think, the face of Poseidon and if indeed there were a god like that, what kind of displeasure would he have with this un out of control? So when you said that the ocean's in peril, you're specifically talking about the oil spill. I'm specifically. You're not talking in general about oceans. Well, it is, it's, in, it's in peril right now. Our ocean is in peril. The oxygen levels disappearing and all kinds of problems in the even ocean. before all this happened. even before and now we have more more issues so I'm an ocean person I'm an ocean lover so what I did was I took my took my painting and I put Poseidon the god in it, in it and I thought oh, this is really appropriate it's right there oh is that what that painting is that's right what there? that is yeah Poseidon's in there Poseidon the god do you I see I don't see Poseidon in well there. look again until keep looking until you see it. Is he the white? His uh, his his uh, crown is the white, and has pinks beyond the crown, and the pink nose, the big pink nose. Oh my gosh! And he, I definitely and, see it. And he's got a. Long, so he's looking at us. He's he, looking up, and he's, he's looking look, up, and he has a. I definitely see it. It's very yeah, good. He definitely has. I definitely see if it. If there was. He's got a beard and a mustache. What kind of yeah, response, what kind of response yeah. would that be? Dismay, I think. Dismay. Well, I just feel bad for the pelicans and oh, holy smokes. Oh, beautiful. I'm taking did, another color, another blue, a different shade of blue. And, making, and you switched brushes? And I did. I didn't see you and, do that. And there's a brush for you right there. And go ahead and put that in. In the sky? In the sky. And we didn't, we left the... Um, the items we drew alone, right? The right. Little, yeah. I, okay. Yeah. So what color are you mixing? White and... I'm just making a kind of a, a, a blue, light blue. And does it matter what kind of brush we use? I mean... Whatever feels comfortable. Do these go you. by sizes or... <laughs> uh, they seem like they've been around a while. They've been... <laughs> I bet they're from the last century, right? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I don't know. They're they yeah, they like work the older they are, the better they work. I hate to say that. I hate to say that, but the older they are, well, the better great, they work. That's great because last month we did a show <laughs> with the gal Ruby Reusable and she was all about reusing mm -hmm. things. Ruby Reusable. Yeah, and so she'd approve us, us using old brushes. <laughs> not just going out and buying new ones. So you're, so, here, I'm so going to hold it up and let him see, but um, you want to pick a base color, and then as you go with it, you manipulate from there. And, okay. And this is such a wonderful um, 
it's just a tempera paint, but it works so well, and you can easily yeah. easily change the. So below the, the horizons line is the water, and above the horizon line is the sky, and the white pieces are going to be land. Is that right? This is the beach, and this is and this will be rocks. Okay. So the so I'm just going to go over here. Is this a special paper we're using? It's a um, cardstock. Okay. And by the way, if um, Lynn Ruth looks familiar, it's because she uh, is in many of our schools, aren't you? I, I work in, in mostly high school. Mostly high school? Mostly high school. That was coincidence. That's pretty weird. <laughs> and that um, we met each other in school yesterday. That well, we didn't just meet. We ran each other. But... Um, I, do you just work in North Thurston or in Olympia School I District? work in both, North okay. Thurston and Olympia. Yeah. So I've done it for 20 years. For 20 years? 20 years. Wow. I've run the treehouse for 18 of those years. Oh, my goodness. So it's just been a... So life you're probably is very recognizable. Have people seen you at the Art Walk, too, probably? Oh, all the, isn't it wonderful to watch those kids come back and say, Hey, remember me? Yeah. Well, isn't that just amazing how they've grown up? So now, our, down here we're doing, this is the brown, and um, I want to be this sure. Is, this is the sand, and that's, just, that's oh, a base. Oh, this is sand. And that is the base color for the sand. And um, here. Um, On my rocky shore. Can you pick, I love the way you put your, I like your rock formation. Did you? You're so sweet. So, Are you changing brushes on me every time? Well, if it's contaminated mm. and I need some a pure, a pure color, then then you did. Now you're good. Use this one now. Can oh. I use this one now? Uh, let's With see. the let blacker me, let me color. Let me get you a brush. I need another brush. Yeah. So here we are again. And um, here you go. We're doing the ocean because the ocean's in peril. I'm hoping by the time they see this show, the situation will be better, though. Nice. It's not better yet. It's, it, it's, you know, there's really no reason to have human greed take animal life. There's no reason for that. And, and that's what's happened. And, uh, and if we are responsible, we, we take responsibility for our actions and, and we prepare for what possibilities there could be. Well, hopefully they get it cleaned up. You know, we're all part of that food chain. People don't realize it. They think, oh, it's about the animals. And that is true, and I feel awful for the animals. But we're at the top of the food chain, so it affects <laughs> us too. Yeah. But I do the, oh, gosh, it's so painful to see those pelicans. Oh, it's just awful. Oh, when I, okay. when I uh, um, go to the ocean and I, I listen, the reason I call this the voice of God is that is where I hear God speak. Mm. And I hear it in the ocean. And I hear so you the, drive down to the ocean? A lot. And I hear, the, oh, do you and really? I hear that voice. And you I just know. sit there and listen and to the that, waves? That is, that is it for me. And wow. I think it's not just me. It's for many people. They go there, and there's a solace there. There's, there's such peace there. Peace at the ocean? And now we have... Well, I better get down to the ocean. Are you talking about just local... Salt water? Are you talking about? I'm talking about the ocean. The ocean. <laughs> I'm talking not. about the. Well, the we are ocean. lucky to have it. That's for sure. Very few states are um, have an ocean Are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? Uh huh. Look I'm not sure. Pretty. I know what I'm doing. So I'm above the horizon line right now. We have ten more minutes. Okay. Well, we're cooking. And we're doing right fun. now, is this all base paint right now? Yeah, and we'll add. We're going to add our uh, colors so on top. So we got the horizon it. line. Oh, my hand's over the shore. That's the shore where the sandy part is. I'm getting there. Look so quickly. What pretty. a good teacher fill, you are. Fill in the white now. Go ahead. I got to fill in the white. Fill in the white. Bring the white. Bring it all the way. I got you, all my. You all color right. it all in there. Everything. Everything, and then you go on top with other colors. Now, usually at the treehouse, we'd use a, a blow, dry, blow, blow dryer, but you really don't need to uh, when it comes to water in the ocean. Um, you can like a hair dryer. Yes, a hair dryer. <laughs> you don't need to because um, it all integrates in there. And I'm going to give you this one when you're ready. I don't know. This, my my colors are mixing. You call it integrating, but that's good. That's beautiful. I keep don't going, know. Keep going. Keep going. Now, one thing you should pay attention to is when you do the horizon line. It is lots lighter right at the horizon line. I use my finger and pull across like this, 
Do you see? Um, I'm going to show this. But this is where the sky meets the water. And, and then a slider. And the atmosphere is light. So the horizon line. Here it is like this. And the sky meets the water. So when was the last time you were at the ocean? Oh, well, we go often. We go very often. <laughs> like every week you go there? <laughs> we're going to go tomorrow, I think, again. Well, it's, the weather hasn't been so great. And then you just sort of sit and My like mom and I, we, we, we travel. Oh, your we, mom? My mom yeah. loves the ocean. So when you do a wave, you can do it like this. And then you just... I'm just going to... Oh, boy, you're just moving right along. If you can see... Um, the way the the light from the sun touches the water. Can you hold yours up? Hold it down so they can hold see it. Down. Maybe show it to Jerry. Okay. Because I want to see yours too. So I'm gonna look on the camera. To see. Okay. Oh. When you when you see this this light area, I can I guess it's opposite. So those are the white caps. Those are the white, but this is the pool of light when the sun hits the water, oh. and this is the wave action. And you can do any kind of wave action you want. Oh, that's the wave action yeah. that comes and up and now hits you, like. Now you can bubble it. I brought I gave you a, a knife. You can do it with a knife and and pull the wave any way you want and manipulate it. But the idea is that the wind usually will blow against the water and the waves will travel a certain way, a, along a certain path. I'm going to put a little green in there. I love blue-green water. Do yeah. you have a favorite ocean beach? Oh, yeah. Which one? It's Waimanila in, 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 uh, in Oahu. Oh, that's the, one in my, that's the one. Oh, the one. What about the, Cannon Beach? Oh, or? it's beautiful. Yeah, we live off the Oregon coast. Yeah, isn't the Oregon coast beautiful? Just I know gorgeous. it's not always real warm or real sandy, but just fantastic. Can you imagine how those people feel losing their ocean? Oh, how did they lose the ocean? Oh, you mean I people can't in the, imagine. They can't even go in out the Mexican there. coast. They can't oh. even go out. So I did another spiritual person. I'm not sure who it is or what it is, but it's back there on the podium. Um, Does mine look I, like it's supposed to? Where's the? Who? Are those the waves coming up on the side? No, I want you to fill that in, all blue, and then you put the white on top of it. Why can't I just leave the paper blank? Because it doesn't work that way. What happens is it becomes flat. Oh. So what I'm going to do is can't I'm going to I'm going to pull over here, and. Uh, uh, and I'm going to um, do this real quick, Diane, and then I'm going to show you how to finish yours. Yeah. Why don't you finish yours? Okay. And I'm going to watch you finish no, yours. No, I'm going I'm to show you how to finish it. It's right, it's right here. Look at this, honey. Oh, my goodness. See, that's why you're the artist. I guess I'm the wannabe. You're the wannabe? <laughs> That's amazing how you drew Poseidon's face in there and that I didn't see it and yet now I Isn't look at it and I think how could how I have could ever you missed not it? See it? Yes. How could I ever mm -hmm. have missed that? That's interesting. In our schools that that we always discuss the Greek uh, mythological characters. We always do. And uh, there's gotta be something to that. <laughs> anyway, behind you over here on this on this side, on that podium, uh -huh. is another um, uh, underwater deity maybe. Which this one right here, yes. but he's out of the water. Yes, but if he if he was underwater he would have all those colors on him. I think I'll call mine done and then I'll Help you her, and I'll help her out. You know, I like um, this one too. The sand with the. This one reminds me of um, just our own ocean shores. That is another. Oh, that is another yeah, one. Yeah, I like that one. Another one from uh, what do you call it? Um, so you did that one. Oh, I took that. I took that picture in. Uh, it's Oahu. Oh, that's Oahu. That's another one, Sandy Beach, I think it is. I so, thought Oahu the water was more turquoise. It's, it's gorgeous. Now what I want you to do is uh, they're so complimentary. Take this wonderful gorgeous. brush. Oh, take this wonderful gorgeous. brush. Okay, wonderful brush. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's, it's got a brown on it though. Okay. You have and, not cleaned and, out any of these and brushes. And then you go like this. And, you, and, and then, those are the and waves. That's the wave, and then you push it a little bit. You can scratch it a little bit. 
and you get all of that wonderful thing. Now, I think since it's so dark, can I, oh, oh, somebody's got a good job. I'm gonna hold it like this. Since it's so dark, down here on the, it will thin out. Watch, watch, I can't really do that, I don't think. Maybe I can. I'll turn it. Okay, you, you do that. You do that. No, no, you're the, no, you're you're the master. No, you do that. No, <laughs> you do that. You do that. Okay, Pull. what do you want me to I do? want you to, to grab Take a, some light. Well, I'll go right I got here, some light. Right here. We're going to lighten it a little bit down by the shore. And why are we doing that? Because as the water is shallow, it's Please more, it's, it. no, go ahead. Just take and pull. Just down. pull on. Pull, pull. Like that? Yeah, pull, pull. Straight. Am I going Let, over the black? A little bit. Okay, come up here and wiggle it. And wiggle it, and as it gets lighter, you can do more and more just dots. See, my picture is different than yours. That's good. Too. Is that good? It shouldn't look like mine. Now lay it down. Look at it. Lay it down. Lay it lay down. down. No, lay it down. Lay it, it down. It's like a piano. Lay it down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look. No, no, no. It's like a piano. Okay. okay. So what you do is this is a really someone gave me this fantastic brush. You scratch it. And you pull these things called tails. Okay. Oh, there, there. Camera's getting that. Thank you. You scratch it, and then you pull these things called tails. Go, go. What am I doing this for? Because you want to have a, a change in depth. Oh, this oh, changes the depth. Yes. Scratch it and pull it. Scratch it and pull it. Scratch it and pull it. And, and that's going to look like the ocean. Yes, it will look like the ocean. When's that going to happen? When you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not talking to you anymore. Let me, I'm going to show it to Jim's camera. I can't, if I hold that, can you look? <gasps> See, that's the part that looks like the piano, my island out there. I know, you need to sink it well, down a know, little bit. Well, you know, actually, when you kind of look at it, so those are the waves. Honey, you're not done. Put I'm it not? down. No, you're not done. Oh. Set it down. <laughs> set, set it. <laughs> I want to do something about that piano. Uh, okay, what you want to do is bring the... Bring this in, down further. So I'm going to get the black and do that? Yeah. Or you're going to get the black and do that? You want to bring it in the water. You don't have it in the water. Oh, so. that's why it looks like something just sticking up there in the middle of... Yeah, you want to bring Why'd it... Why you finish it? We only have two more minutes. Is that it? Yeah, so I need an expert here to oh, gosh. straighten out my piano that's floating in the ocean. There. Okay, where's black? So that's an island out there. This is an or island. Remember I told you that you put light on it to make it show up? Oh, well, maybe you did say that. See the light? Sorry. Worked all day. <laughs> I know. Even though people see this show on Saturday morning. They do? We're filming late on Friday night. Okay. Now, to do the uh, reflection in the water, okay. you come. You use almost no, nothing on, on the brush, and you pull it down like this. See? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Little poles, little poles, hot little poles. Just little skip marks. Little there it is, there it is. Is there that it? it? That's it, that's it. Okay, okay. now I'm you're not done, done darling. <laughs> <laughs> there, is it looking more, doesn't look like a piano anymore. Where's it does the, look like water down here. It really looks like the pool of where's water. The, uh, where's the, the large brush? Coming in, I can see that there. I'm the gonna, me, let me see, can you, can you guys see mine? Her, you gotta you show your camera one, huh? Look over there, camera one. <laughs> Here, I'm trying to show off mine. <laughs> Let's let the get the out. See? There it is. So you can really see. Do you see how if you put the white in and you pull down, you'll get reflective light in it? So that's reflected light. That's reflected light. And that's actually an island, or is that a rock back there? It's an island. This it's kind this, of an it's island. Definite, uh, definite and it's definitely an island. And it's a shore with the <laughs> waves lapping up. We have a lot of brushes. Huh? Um, I'm going to let you finish it. I know, uh. we're, I know we're coming to the end, but I'm going to let you finish it. You want to put some light in it. Okay, I'll, So you do it. You remember wow. when I said down here, this is, this is where you have the horizon line. And okay. up in here, you do it like this. Okay? Just, Just stroke, it, stroke it. And I know it. Here you go. I thought that's what I had done. Okay. Stroke it, light. So at the horizon line, you lighten it up. And then you hit, then you go ahead and taper it, taper it, tap it in. Like that? Yeah, I tap it much harder. <laughs> there you got it. And it looks, it that's look, good. It should look like that. If, watch this, look. Oh, and then I take my finger? You can, look at that, isn't that pretty? 
Go ahead and tap, tap it. Keep tapping it. It depends on if you're comfortable comfortable playing in the paint. I'm very comfortable with paint. We got to wrap this up. Okay. So can I show the cameras this or do I? Let me give you, give you a hand. Um. Wow, that was a quick show. It seemed like it. So um, if you want to paint the ocean, get some, what is it, water tempera paint? It's just tempera paint. Tempera you can paint. actually dunk the whole thing in water and it will look more fluid. There. My okay. painting would look better if I dunked it in water? <laughs> Believe it or not, you can dip it, the whole thing in water. Well, thank you, Lynn. Isn't that funny? I know you're a very busy person. I appreciate you spending your time with us. And that is my ocean picture with the waves coming up on the shore. And uh, it's great seeing you again. Good thank you. And you. thanks to a fabulous crew. Tune in again sometime for the Just Kidding Around show. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, Mr. Feeney. <laughs> We the people here decree Use the right to life and liberty We're all created equally in America And we're going to live here happily in America Our founding fathers crossed the seas And built the new world colonies But King George wouldn't set them free So they fought a rebel the American Revolution. Oh, we the people here decree we've the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. The English army came in boats. It was buckskin versus bright red coats. Then the Yankees won the war and wrote our country's constitution. The United States Constitution. For oh, we the people here decree, we the right to life and liberty. We're all created equally in America. And we're going to live here happily in America. the passing years, the pioneers crossed the frontier without rest. Oh, the land was new when this country grew from the east coast to the west.